Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. As part of our Spotlight on 5G Week, we're going to discuss the impact and importance of edge computing on the services strategy of UK operator BT. And joining me to discuss developments at the edge is Simon Haston, who is CTIO, Regions and Devolved Government at BT. Hello, Simon. Thanks very much for joining us on the programme today. First question I'd like to ask you is just how important is edge computing to BT's services strategy? Yeah, I mean, I think edge is, is, is becoming more important. I think we need to put it in a wider context. So, so we look at technology in the round from the data sources to how that's transported, to how that goes to data exchanges, and then how does that get out to you know, all the cool applications that we can use with our customers. Um, I think Edge is becoming much, much more important with the advent of 5G. Uh, and I think the two playing together um, really is becoming interesting from the perspective of how, you know, how do we get that latency? How do we deal with that broadband, that, that bandwidth that we need at a local part? And then how do we scale that out to the cloud? So, so I think as, as it's becoming more important, um, but it is part of a much wider technology landscape. And what does BT's edge infrastructure look like, Simon? Is it is it highly distributed? Is it deployed at existing BT pops like central offices? Uh, so, so we're still very early in the journey. Um, um, we are certainly aiming towards a, a distributed um, way of delivering it. Um, I, I think at the moment, how we're delivering it is a, is a mixture, depending on which use cases we're deploying. I, I mean, 5G is very early on, and, and a lot of what we do is demonstrating the power of 5G, the use cases, the applications. So actually how we use Edge can, can, can be quite different. Um, some of it is straight out to, to the public cloud. A lot of what we do is private networks. So a lot of that Edge at the moment that, that we're testing and doing proof of concepts is, is an on-premise basis. So much interest in private networks at the moment. And you mentioned 5G there. Um, whenever we talk about the Edge, the conversation always comes around to 5G as, as well. It's inevitable. What is the relationship between Edge and 5G and how do you see them fitting together? Yeah, so, so, so they are distinct, um, but, but I think they both have the same aim and that is to bring greater bandwidth, um, greater data usage, um, but also greater latency. And I think that the, the, the relationship between the two has become quite symbiotic, you know, in the sense that, you know, we don't have 5G everywhere. Um, you know, 5G is very early doors. Um, you know, it's going to take a while for that to have full coverage. Not all devices are 5G ready. So I think Edge provides that really good bridge um, be between a, a 5G application and how we can scale that up. And particularly with customers who are quite strategic and want to run a lot of different applications, develop new innovation, develop new stuff across wider states. Um, that that's where Edge and 5G really comes in, and they begin to really so, you know, almost act together um, to, to, to help 5G on its way, as it were. So is this combination of Edge and 5G opening up new business opportunities for BT? Yeah, so, 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 so I think it gives us um, you know, potentially an edge on, on infrastructure services, on our networks. You know, on our ability to take um, new network products to the market. But actually what we really focus on is what is the technology over the top of that? What are the new applications that this helps to bring? And, and probably four really good examples of that is we're working with you know, Hyperbat on how remote teams um, can, can work together, you know, engineers and designers um, through 3D designs. And that, that requires high bandwidth, low latency, um, to make sure that those teams across the whole world can, can work on the same stuff in a very immersive environment. You know, other examples um, like Warwick University, which is in effect a, a living lab um, 5G campus, where they would look at gaming, you know, robotics, healthcare. Um, other examples like Belfast, which is a massive space of you know, 2,000 acres. And so all that combination of 5G you know, and edge but really the value is what is the new innovation? What are the new applications um, that we can bring to the market over the top of the network? There's some exciting examples that you've mentioned there. But uh, you know, finally, Simon, 
What are you actually hearing from enterprise customers about edge enabled services? Is this something they already want to talk about? Yeah, I, I think it, it is, it's different customers. Um, I think some customers don't, don't look at it at all, don't see it as part of that architecture. I think as we begin to work with them on, on 5G use cases and 5G applications, they begin to look at their wider estate, they begin to look at their cloud strategy, and they begin to look at the mixture of converged connectivity, you know, hybrids, pure clouds, and actually they begin to see that really if they, if they want to get the real performance and almost that, that, that journey that, that they're on, they're going to need different edge capabilities. And so, so actually, it's more as we get into the, the use cases, we get into the nuts and bolts of actually running you know, new applications that could be very immersive. They could near, you know, near, need near real time data and collaboration. But actually, our customers begin to look at it architecturally and actually begin to look at it saying, well, Edge needs to be part of our architecture going forward. And that's where we work very closely with them. So, so, so I'd say, um, there's, there's not a huge amount of demand coming out of our enterprise customers, but that, that is undoubtedly going to ramp up over the next year, you know, as we bring in new innovation, as we create, you know, new opportunities, and as we really test some of their, their, their IT architectures and, and their ability to run new, really advanced applications over their existing, you know, legacy network. Well, we look forward to seeing how all this develops. Simon, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Appreciate your insights into The Edge. And a reminder that you can view an extensive series of programmes as part of our Spotlight on 5G Week, from interviews and roundtables to live Q&As and special features, all available right here on Telecom TV. For now, though, thank you for watching and goodbye.